I have a question for you. How long will you stay with people who will fail you? How long will you walk with people who are only after to use you? How long will you stay with people who are just after to use you for what you have? It's been too long sitting with these people. We are complaining about them, but we do nothing when it comes to make a strong decision. Many of us, we choose to stay in places whereby we are dying as individuals. It's few of us who can recognize when we are dying and we make a firm decision and say to ourselves, I'm moving forward. I challenge you wherever you are. May you examine and ask yourself, is this people whom you surround yourself with bringing growth in your own life or they're just making you to always complain about them, to complain about their treatment, to complain how they are treating you, but you do, you do nothing when it comes to changing your life. On this hour, on this moment, may you sit down with yourself and be honest with yourself and ask yourself, are these people taking me somewhere in life or they are only after to use me for what I have, for what I've received, for what I've gained in my own life? Or they are only after to boast about my own beauty? Yeah, because there are those men in this world who are with women only just to boast about their beauty, not because they love them, not because they have intentions of marrying them. The big question is, how long will you stay in an abusive relationship? You are not depart in that relationship to death. Because even you, you can realize you are dying slowly but surely. But you act so strong in front of everyone because you are going to be seen as a power couple. You are going to be seen as a strong person. Let me warn you wherever you are. Even strong people, they do cry when they are alone. They do cry at night holding pillows with their own hands. Some of them, they are pillows. If they can speak, they can reveal hidden mysteries that those people they encounter every single individual. I'm saying to you, know when you are dying in any situation that you encounter or in any relationship that we have with people or in any friendship that we have with people after you realize that you are dying make a firm decision not to look back but to look forward and to forsake those people if you have to sometimes we leave people not because they are bad people it is because they are bringing toxicity in our lives it is because sometimes their time in our lives is over. Realize when other people's time is over in your own life. Some people, they come into our own lives for a certain season. Once their season is over in our own lives, whether we are still wanting to keep them in our own lives, they will leave us. Some of them, they will leave us with pain. Some of them, they will leave us with the regrets. Some of them, they will leave us with lessons that we have learned with those people. While some of them, they will leave us with beautiful moments that we have had with them. While some of them, they will leave us with words of encouragement saying to us, continue to be who you are. Never change yourself because of what people they are doing towards you. I'm saying to you, learn to know when it's a time to move on from people. When it's a time to move on from a certain place. When it's a time to move on from a certain work of environment. Because some of us, we are no longer growing, but we are dying slowly but slowly. In a work environment, in a relationship, in a certain place. But we are stubborn to move forward. We are stubborn to let go of a workplace. We are stubborn to let go of a friendship. Even when we are dying, surely but slowly, inside of our own hearts. I'm still asking the same question. How long will you stay in that place where you are dying? How long will you stay in that relationship where you are dying as an individual? How long will you stay in that work environment where you are dying as an individual? 
How long will you stay in that political party where you are dying as an individual? I know many of us, we are scared to ask ourselves these questions. That are, we, we, are we growing or dying where we are? It's a high time in life where we ask ourselves that are we growing or are we dying where we are? So that we'll be able to make wise decision going forward. It's a high time whereby you learn to make decision that's going to make you to grow. Some of us, we are where we are today because we have made firm decision with ourselves. We have spoken to ourselves. We have told ourselves that we will never die where we are. If people, they want to cry, let them cry for, for us leaving them. But they will take us in the long run. Because even then, they are dying, having us in their own lives. I'm saying to you, let us learn to examine that are we growing or are we dying where we are. In this episode, as the evangelist was I'm signing out. Be blessed wherever you are.